if such a large portion of your workforce is going to be experiencing some sort of mental health issue, how many people are you going to not work with, right? So there has to be a way of working with everyone and making sure that your workforce is still productive, right? You're, they're still getting things done, which is not uh, impossible at all. So as you know, people are fully functional when they have been diagnosed with various mental health issues. There's absolutely no problem with um, being able to work. Of course, there are down times and there are better times and so on. But overall, thousands of people have jobs and they have mental health issues as well and they're able to manage both. So I think the important thing again is holding that space, creating that space where you say it's okay if you have you know, whatever it is that you have. So if we have a minority of the population that doesn't have some sort of um, mental health issue or stress, chronic stress. So uh, there's no saying that you cannot work because you have a mental health issue is simply erroneous. It's like saying you have diabetes so you cannot come work for us, which again is simply wrong. So it's it's not only a matter of stigma at this point, it's also a matter of discrimination. That's something very important to remember. And how many people are you going to marginalize? How many people are you going to sideline? Because everybody has something or the other. So I'd say at this point, managers have no choice but to start learning how to work with mental wellness, mental health issues. Because if they don't, they will not be effective managers. So it's not even a question anymore of can you work with a mental health issue. It is, we are all working with mental health issues. How do I manage them better? Yeah.